Well, we hear a lot about jobs, how we need more of them. Another pressing issue here is getting to work. Well, tonight we have news about what many consider to be one of the most important future road projects for the area. But 10 on your side's Art Khan tells us we all need a dose of patience before the rubber meets the road. Commuters waiting for a third crossing to relieve gridlock at the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel had better not leave their motors running. If I had the money in a hat box today with the environmental impact of that project, I'm not sure you'd get it any faster than 50 years anyway. That's right. 50 years away, according to Virginia's Deputy Secretary of Transportation, David Tyre. However, the president of the Hampton Roads Public Transportation Alliance thinks the project could become a reality much sooner. It's more like 20 to 25, but, you know, this is something we backed off from in the, in the 90s, some 15 years ago. If we had moved forward then, We'd be, we'd be finishing it now. The third crossing Wright is referring to no longer involves construction of a third tube across the Elizabeth River and is now referred to as the Patriot Crossing. Patriot Crossing would, would uh, take you across from uh, the port slash naval base uh, across to Craney Island. And from there it would connect to 464 in one direction and 460 in the other. Improving the 460 corridor is the direction state transportation officials are leaning. Funding for that, however, does not include Patriot Crossing. We really like 460 because we think it's an opportunity to get trucks out of the tunnels. With more fuel-efficient cars on the market now, Tyre says the gas tax will not provide the revenue needed to fund transportation projects in the future. So where will the money come from? Tolls? Yes, tolls will be a part of your reality in the future. Unfortunately, gridlock will likely be the most immediate reality on the highways in Hampton Roads. Art Khan, 10 on your side. No surprise there. Deputy Secretary Tyre says transportation funding will have to come from partnerships between public and private investors. Tolls are the only way for the private sector to generate a return on their investment.